How do you open an auger? <laughs> With the axe. You asked him a lot of questions. Hey guys, I'm Nieramite and welcome back to the Dwarves, laddies. So last time, two new companions have joined our lovely party. Now we have a full circus. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Three dwarves, a sorceress and a walking armor. Like, the only thing I'm missing is a monkey. And I can open a, open a circus in the middle of nowhere. That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, we are now supposed to go into this thing, which is apparently some kind of freaking desert. Looks awesome. Um, I need to get here, so I'm kind of like thinking we're gonna just go as the path leads here. This is gonna be the first time we're gonna visit. Uh, going through the mountain? Well, dwarves loves mountains anyway, so we can go through there. And then we have to go through this thing. So one, two... Uh, I mean, one, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, okay, so going right will be actually uh, faster to get to Pasangar. What? <laughs> And then uh, from that point, uh, straightly into the ogre's death, which is apparently uh, a dwarven fortress or something. So yeah, also uh, orcish horde is here, and orcish horde is here. Which uh, this one is chasing me. Um, I did like a quick test after recording of the previous episode. You cannot interact with them. They just gonna follow you, and I tried to fight with them. Nope, nope, just not gonna happen. Like they completely ignore me and don't give a two shits about me anyway. So the path leads you through a ravine whose steep walls are mainly made up of loose boulders and scree. You could probably cause a rockfall that would block your pursuer's path and obstruct your way back. Oh! Wait, obstruct my way back. Should I do that? Because that will be... Uh, let me think. Well, I can, can, I can go this way back. And when I'll be going back, I, I can try to visit Comstead. I didn't want to go to Comstead just in case the Orcish Hulk will follow me. You know, that village is already heavy damage, so I'm not gonna try to do that. Let's block the path. It takes longer than you would have liked to trigger a rockfall that is big enough. But when the dust settles, you realize that you have been rewarded for your troubles. The path is blocked. Bloody good work, laddies. Let's go into the... Oh yeah, this is what dwarves love. <laughs> Desert. In the afternoon, with the sun low in the sky, the path leads you through a ravine. A glance at your map suggests that you're near to Boribor, the Orc Realm. Fracas, may we remain unscathed. Uh-oh. About a mile further on, Boindil suddenly stops in his tracks and sniffs. Can you smell that? Piggy snouts! And lots of them too! <laughs> Let's proceed with caution. Perhaps we can take a few of them out before they raise the alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Hard not to love that guy. Okay, let's see how it's gonna go. So, uh, five people in the party. For some unknown reason, this one has the X still. I don't know. I don't get what is the idea with the X. Oh! So this is the thing. You can have only on the battlefield four people at the same time. Oh. Well, okay, I'm gonna go with those. I want to see what the sorceress is capable of because this is like this guy is just like a warrior, I think. Passive every enemy near him receives damage over time. That's nice. Enemy is cocking back with great force. Everyone, uh, everyone in his path receives damage. Dordin opens his vizier. <laughs> Look at my face. Look at it. Okay, so I think we're gonna be fine. Um, he's wait, what? He's Mighty Blow is 2,000 damage, and this guy... Wait, what? Oh, sweet Jesus, he hits like a fucking truck! Good God! <laughs> okay, that's nice. And her abilities? Oh my God, Scorch, 3,500... Okay, you better look out for that thing, because that's gonna that's gonna hurt when you try to use it. Okay, onward! To, to battle, brothers! Let's go! Uh, okay, let's see. We have to stop them before they can warn anyone. Okay, move, 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 move. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh oh, is that the messenger? Boy, deal! Stop him! Stop him! I don't know care how. Just stop him! Come on! Come on! <laughs> can you doubt him? Yeah! <laughs> no, fuck! He ran away. No, 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 no! No! Okay, fuck it. Okay, let's go back up. Into the hills, uh, we're gonna destroy that group over there, and then we're gonna set up a trap for the incoming reinforcements. Because you never know what's gonna hit you, so... Okay, Bondil, since you are alive first, have fun! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> All of a sudden, the sky turned black. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Um, Let's see. Bondil, you stay where you are. 
No, actually, by that, you're gonna go forward because you have the cliff attack and they are standing next to a freaking hole in the ground. So if you could be so nice. Uh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, there you go. Now. Goodbye. <laughs> One more time. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I didn't make it. Fuck. And uh, now let's see what you have. You've had the scorch ability. Oh, that's a beam. Good to know. Chain lightning. Uh, okay, and blast. Magic blast. Magical blast that pulls creatures towards it and then explodes. Really? That was gonna be fun. Okay, don't affect the dwarf because you don't yes. want that. You move back, just in case. No! Never mind! <laughs> that was fun! It blew up! You do, you do your thing. Now, actually, you're gonna jump over here. Uh, why the fuck the kid is receiving so much damage? Okay, you do this. You do this. There we go. See? This is what I'm talking about. Damage. High quality damage. Beautiful. Okay, so what we see? There's like a camp over there. There's a fucking catapult on the hill. Okay. <laughs> so that's obvious. We're going towards the catapult. We have to deal with the catapults first because the catapults can just one shot you if you stand in the wrong place. You know, I remember the prologue. I remember how that fucking ended. Can you stop hugging him and just kill him? Today would be great. <laughs> Keep pushing him around like some fucking bitch. Okay, never mind. Forget that said thing. Uh-oh. Enforcement's not coming. Okay, deal quickly this thing. Now, I think you need to use the special abilities in order to damage this thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna do this. You're gonna do this. And you're gonna stand and... No point in wasting the best abilities in the freaking catapult. One down. Go, 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 go. Oh shit, that's a fucking ogre! <laughs> My deal! How much points for ogre? Wait, what? One? Oh, come on, man, look at his size! What do you mean one counts as one? That's not fair. Uh, let's see your beam. So, he's coming towards you. That was bullshit. <laughs> I've missed. What the fuck? Okay, whoever kills... Oh shit. Whoever kills this fucker gets bonus points. So, do your best. Uh, I need to jump you here. You're gonna go here. There you go. That'll work it. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ogre, 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 ogre. Focus on the ogre. There you go. Sweetness. One more time. Okay, dead. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm so big and handsome. Mm, I'm so dangerous. Yeah. I'm taking all the access on my face. That didn't work. Uh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you still try to fight with me. Goodbye. Did I just hit, hit the dwarf? No, I didn't. <laughs> For a second, I was like, did I just push my own hero into the freaking hole in the ground? Of cliff? It looks like we need to go for the, for the camp. In order to get anywhere, so let's try this once again. Go. There you go. Nice. Goodbye. <laughs> New ogre is coming, so that's cute. Two ogres are coming. Oh, fuck. Fall back in the defensive positions, man. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Okay, let's try this beam thing once again because now we have two ogres, so that's actually pretty dangerous. Um, can you kill him? At least smack him with the beam. Nice. Fuck yeah, I don't know what that thing was, but it was awesome. Oh, move back, move, move back. <laughs> Good thing he is killing his own man. <laughs> Stupid fuck. Okay. Uh, oh shit, this thing has a cooldown ability. Oh, that stinks. How about you're gonna use chain lighting then? That was lame. So lame. So lame. No using that. <laughs> wow. Let me clean the area a little bit. It's too much people around. Really? I'm standing here. Fuck face. There you go. Okay, you're gonna move here. Um, Boyd is having fun, so that's cute. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you do this. You do this. Just, just don't damage the dwarf. Nice. Okay, Boyd Okay, have control over you. So you jump here and have fun with this guy. <laughs> How do you open an ogre? <laughs> with the axe. You asked him a lot of questions. And now you go here and finish him. Beautiful. <laughs> right in the fucking back. How's your spine? What do you mean it's hammered? I don't know. I mean like, my task in this mission is to, like to just get to the exit. What I'm doing, I'm clearing the entire fucking map for enemies. <laughs> Something is wrong with me. I don't understand the concept of running. <laughs> you go there, finish the archers because they are like annoying. And there you go. That would be one, that would be two. We look this quickly. There we go, sweetness, okay. And why the fuck you stick? Like, just smack him? Okay, never mind. So, just in fact.
No chance. Wow, that only took you five minutes. <laughs> Sorceress, like without spells? Ha, pathetic. Okay, here's the exit over there. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Sweetness, mission accomplished. We should go down into the caves and vaults. <laughs> There'll be more of them down there. Or maybe we should concentrate on finally getting to Ogre's death stronghold, Boindil. You ignore the offended look on your friend's face and set off, leaving the Orc Mountains behind you. We'll come back here later on, <laughs> laddie. <laughs> Wait, the walking armor was not in the combat and he still received the uh, experience points? That's awesome. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, and uh, the Orcish Horde is still behind me, but that doesn't give me a two shits because I can just keep running from them. On was to exploring and glory. You have put out a plate of food for the night every evening since Jerun and Andakai joined you on your journey. But still none of you have seen him eat. You decide to pay particular attention to him this evening to try and find out what is under the helmet. Andakai is sitting not far from the giant, studying the books. Have you found anything useful yet? She looks up at you. You think I will stay and fight if there is a spell in the books that might defeat Nodon? Yours is the god of balance. Don't you see it as your duty to create a balance between light and dark? Instead of answering, Andakai rubs her eyes and closes the books. It's too dark to study. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Disgruntled, you watch the Mega as she walks over to her bed for the night. Your eyes fall upon Jerun and the plate at his feet on which not a crumb of food is left. Mm-hmm, interesting. I just noticed that... Uh, that this village, Pasangar, is apparently... Pasangar, Jesus, what a name. Um, that's like the only village that the game acknowledges like a big thing. There's a village over here, there's a village over here, but the game ignores this completely. So, yeah, and I counted the marks, so I can go through the mountains. Or I can go here. I think I'm gonna go through the mountains and see how it's gonna go. Because it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, the same thing. So, no point, no matter. <laughs> the Orgish Horde is still behind me. <laughs> I wish them good luck if they want to get to me. Okay, go here. Uh, go here. No avalanche, nothing. That's sad. Now, I kind of like wonder what's gonna happen if I'm gonna reach this city with the Orgish Horde on my back. Oh. You can already see the oasis a day's journey away. But in the glimmer of the midday sun, you're not sure whether it might not just be a mirage. But the twins are convinced that there is a village here, and the prospect of a roof over your heads for the night keeps you going. The nearer you get to the oasis, the more the uneasy feeling grows that something's not right. It's too quiet, and you don't see any movement. Once you enter the village, your fears are confirmed. Your enemies have already been here. Oh crap. Really? Please be a lot of orcs. Please be a lot of orcs. Please have a cliff. What? Uh, okay. This is something new. I don't like the look of it. <laughs> Jesus, this is supposed to be a stealth mission. Can you please walk a little bit quieter? Jesus. Okay, let's get up here. Stealth move engage. Like, this is the closest to stealth as you can get, probably, right? Oh my god. And I like the sound of it. And I'm not talking about you, the room. Uh oh. This is a very nice oasis. Oh no. Oh no. Where the fuck are <laughs> they got stuck? This whole thing is probably a trap. We should. Welcome to Pasna. I'm sure the citizens would greet you themselves, if they could. You recognize the elf immediately. You saw him with the leaders of the orcs, and he appeared to you in a dream after Greenglade. Or no, not in a dream. Synthras. So we meet again, Tangdil. What do you think of my work in the vaults? It was a nice start, wasn't it? An eerie smile sets on Synthras's lips. Wonderful! I can see the hatred in your eyes. Come on. Come and get your revenge. Throw him an axe. Oh shit, this is... Oh, I am not prepared for this bullshit. I am not prepared. Whoa, my reputation grew like crazy. Okay. Oh, let's go. Now, just kill him. Mm-hmm. 
He's gonna raise the dead once again. Okay, orcs incoming. Yeah, orcs incoming from all sides. Oh shit, fuck my ass. God damn it, this is fucking shit. Okay, you're gonna focus on him because you like, you know, have vengeance and all that cool stuff. You're gonna move back because reasons and I don't want you near. Actually, nice. <laughs> that was cool. Uh, where the fuck you Oh no, he's gonna be teleporting all over the place. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck, I hate teleporting enemies, you know, they don't stand in one place so we can just hit them. No, they're gonna keep running. Ugh, you... you remember when I said that he teleported? Boindil apparently is very convinced that he wants him one on one. <laughs> no, Boindil, no, 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 what the fuck you're doing, man? Run, you stupid shit! <laughs> oh no. Oh shit, uh, sorry. <laughs> The worst part about this is I'm getting my ass actually kicked, and I don't know how to heal. Use this thing. Uh, I don't have the possibility to control this guy. I don't know why. Uh, this is this is terrible. Yeah, my sorcerer is lying on the ground because well, apparently she got too fucking tired and she needs to regenerate her fucking mana. Oh, fuck me. Oh, we're about to die. We're about to die. Wait, I think this is supposed to be this way. Like you cannot win. What? No, 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 don't you think I'm gonna just give you the victory? Oh, no, don't you think about that? Fuck face. Come on. There you go. You're not that hard, actually. I can just focus on you and maybe kill you. There you go. Okay, kill him. Just kill him. I don't care how, just kill. Sweet Jesus, mother of mercy. Where the fuck he teleported? There he is. Go! Go, 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 go. This is a very interesting fight. Point in, if you could be so kind. Thank you. There they go. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I've killed him. Back. Why are you here? And how can you possibly still use magic? The one person your master left living is the one you would least like to have as an enemy. Go on, little Alf. Flee. Your magic saved you this time. But next time, I'll be prepared. That was the most bullshit fight in the history of gaming. <laughs> I've had enough of fighting. It's about time we head to your home. Oh, you've had enough too. But we've got several days in the desert ahead of us before we can enjoy a cold beer. The longer we talk about it, the later we'll get to our beer. Let's go. Oh, he's very sad about this. Yeah, I would also like to point out that this is the first time I see a Dwarven Fortress in the middle of a fucking desert. That's awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, experience points. I like experience points. Experience points are cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no skill points? Oh, that's sad. Okay, so the thing is, I'm running solely out of record time, so I have to cut it here. Uh, in the next episode, we're gonna get to the Dwarven Fortress and see how the game will progress from that point. Uh, but for now, I just ha sadly have to cut it here. Also, running low on food. That's, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, I think after that we will have to like return actually back to the previous kingdom because it, like if you didn't notice the map change it like the points where I can move this is the caravan with the, yeah, the this is where the dead dwarf was and this is I think where we have ended the uh, with the elven village thing whatever I think it was like over here and Paristia I think was here or here one of those two I think was Paristia maybe it was here I don't actually remember but you get the thing like uh, the game changes like a chapter and gives you like a different layout of the map so basically you like technically travel to all over the place which is awesome but yeah that's the thing for the future episodes so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you liked the episode please press the like button a lot and hope to see you all in the next video